here we are together again, ready to go through the rest of those thrift store dumpster bags. That's the kid's coat rack behind me. Ignore that mess. That is something I have to deal with. But not now. Now it's time for trash. I'm the potential addition to our garbage wardrobe. Oh, that is feeling kind of Catherine Hepburn-ish. Yes, it is. I'm picturing the On Golden Pond, Catherine Hepburn. Okay. I've got one, two, three, four. I have at least four big black garbage bags from the thrift store dumpster. And sometimes when people watch the thrift store dumpster diving reveal videos, they get very upset because they think, well, I donate stuff to the thrift store and I don't expect it to just end up in the trash. I don't know what to tell you. This particular thrift store isn't that large. It is an actual charity. So I think they get a lot of donations, but they don't have a lot of storage space. So I guess every item has its chance to sell. And if it doesn't sell, out to the dumpster it goes. Great big garbage bag number one. Right on top, we have the ProTech Extended Life Humidifier Filter. It looks like... What's that organ that looks like mesh? Pancreas? Sweet breads? We'll just put this aside for Frugal Daddy to see if we have a humidifier. Here we have a shirt, the Scott Taylor brand. Pink shirt, size 1X. It's of a very, I don't know how to even describe the fabric. It's kind of like that, it's kind of crushed on purpose look. That's a donation. We've got several pairs of blue jeans. Ooh, US 10. Just wondering, are any of them my size? These are awfully short. These must be capris. Donate. These have paint on them, just like the clothes I already have. Also a 10. Oh, lots of paint. I don't know if somebody's gonna buy jeans with paint on them from a thrift store. And it's a shame, because it's wasting all that fabric. I knew someone who made patchwork quilts out of denim for all her grandsons. I know it's kind of sexist. And, um, and she would have loved this fabric. A sweater. Very big sweater from the Athleta brand. You know, I'm not so into this sweater, but it's long. And long sweaters keep you warm and they cover your butt, your butt and hips. So let's try it on. Time to take this off already. Now, the problem with this sweater is where would I store it when I put it away? Because I really don't have room for any more sweaters. And this is a lot of sweater because it is so long. I mean, you can't even see all the way to the bottom, right? It's right down here. I'll jump. See? See how long it is? Ah! I'm wearing jeans, so look for the jeans and you can see how long the sweater is. See? Just above my knees. It's like wearing a big blanket. I'll have to think about this one. But it's cold right now, so it works at the moment. Banana Republic. That's a good brand. It's a little jacket with a belt. Now I feel like I have to try that on. I plan to put on makeup for this video since I look so pale and unalive. And then I forgot until just this moment. Sorry about that. All right, so Banana Republic, where all the cool kids are shopping. And it's got a belt. I don't think so. I don't think it's a keeper for me. Oh, look who's here. This is a donate. That's Pumpkin. Look how big he is. He's still a little baby kitten, but he's a lot bigger. A lavender sweater. Sag Harbor. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. This is the deal. Okay. All right. I see what we've got going on here. It's the kind of deal where it's all one piece, but it looks like it's two pieces. It looks like it's a little scoop neck sweater with a matching cardigan that goes over it, but it's all one piece. I like the concept, but it's not my size, so donate. This is a kind of a sweater jacket from J. Crew. We're gonna try this on too. Oh, there's a diamond 
a pocket. Free money! Okay, that was exciting. It's cut like a blazer, but it's knit like a sweater, which is kind of weird. I don't think it's very flattering. A silky blouse. Some khakis, as my grandmother called them. She would not say khaki. They're H&M size 10 khakis. And now I understand that H&M is a Swedish company, not an English company. US 10. It's a kind of a khaki colored blouse. It reminds me, remember Steve Irwin, the crocodile hunter? This reminds me of him. Because he loved a khaki blouse. What is this? What is this? Oh, it's a... All right. Okay. All righty. Here we have a dress. It's kind of a mother of the bride look. And it looks like a top and a skirt, but it's all one piece. So here's the top. And see, there's the break for the skirt and the fancy cuffs. It's long. It's floor length. Lands and maternity pants. Nice donation. This is Coldwater Creek. It's got the dry cleaning label still in it. I know it's probably hard to tell with dark colors, but I think it's a dark eggplant type color. We have some inside out stretch pants. Little athletic legging type things. So far, the only possible keeper is the very long sweater. Bag number two. It's a big one. Oh my gosh, things on hangers. Things still on hangers. A very shiny blouse. This is still in the dry cleaning bag. And they threw this out. It's a suit. It's a suit. It's a white suit. The jacket is incredibly long. I am wondering if that is for the tallest man who ever existed. The pants are 38 waist and 44 long. That's, a, that's, a, that's for a very tall man, isn't it? Look at that. This would not fit frugal daddy. Menswear. All right, white slacks, 36, 32 in size. It's a menswear bag. We have another suit, a brown suit. We've got some black trousers. All on hangers. Trousers. Here we have a shirt with matching slacks underneath. Another shirt with matching slacks. A man's shirt. There's something red and slinky coming out. If I can get it out. It's not really red and slinky. It's a little red riding hood cape, which I must put on now. I don't know. Maybe it is red and slinky. Maybe it has a purpose beyond just that's kind of a big hood. Is it just an innocent Halloween costume? Or is there something more nefarious up in this hood? See? I can't believe all this stuff was thrown away on the hangers. Here we have some women's stuff. A blouse. This is a Lauren Conrad little tank top looking thing. And then here we have a little slinky green jammy thing. It says it's an extra large, and that does not look extra large to me. It's a white cotton turtleneck sweater, which sadly has a little stain on it. Another little tank top, t-shirt, two pairs of jeans, size 14. One Liz Claiborne, the other I don't know. A black sweater, it's very soft. Oh, because it's 100% cashmere. The brand name is Averizzano like the suspension bridge. I think cashmere might be a keeper. We have a red dress with a zippered front and zippered pockets. Another white cotton sweater with a matching scarf. What a jaunty look that would be. A man's Izod shirt, another man's blouse, a long sleeve shirt with that cool non-collared type of collar. Oh look, here's the dress that must go with my cape. Wouldn't anybody be fetching in this? It looks too small for me though. Should I try it on? I don't think it will fit. Hold on, I have to take the cape off. Oh, it's a little tight. Have I mentioned I'm a very broad-shouldered girl? It's terribly short. You don't generally see women my age in something like this. At least you hope not to. Let me put the cape back on. It's nothing without the cape. 
I'm not sure you can tell how short it is. Luckily for you, it's extremely short. See? Short. Oh, so fun. Oh, you want me to keep it on? Okay. Bag number three. Ugh, more hangers. Man's shirt. In my size? It's an extra, extra large, frugal daddy. That's way too big for you. It's a large, man. Matching slacks. And it's a, it's a textured fabric. Yeah, it's a leisure suit. Oh, a land's end polo type shirt. Would you like this, frugal daddy? What size? What size? Extra large. Ooh. You can wear it a little loose. We've got a jaunty tartan turtleneck. Also land's end. Should I keep this as Christmas wear? That looks like a woman's shirt. It is. Can you move over? Uh, no. Can I move over? Where would I go? Off the chair? All right, frugal daddy, show us Whoa, the shirt. Lovely. It's way too big. I don't know if you can tell it's light blue, but it's light blue. Oh, I'm losing my hood. Hold on. There. Oh, it's really comfortable now here. Please do sit there. This is a Joan Rivers brand. Red turtleneck sweater. All right, here. There's something here that's not clothing. It's not clothing. Whoa. It's the original text album of Porgy and Bess. A Christmas platter and an old computer keyboard. Old? Yeah, wouldn't you say? Oh, wow, look at the plug. Yeah, it's like a phone, oh, it's it's like a a phone, phone plug. plug. A vase. A beautiful cut glass vase. Did you just throw the platter across the room? I knew it wouldn't break. I'm having a hard time getting up. Well, feel free to get up because I'm perched on the very edge of the chair now. I, I keep. I can feel more I'm sliding right every minute. Like yeah, yeah. Oh, I know why. Because you're in your um, nighty, <laughs> and you're. It's. It's not a nighty. It's my costume. It's very slippery. Yeah, it's like uh, silk. Yeah, it's a lot like silk. Sweatpants. Sweatpants. Can I be the big bad wolf tonight? Oh Jesus. Oh sorry. Sweatpants. Okay. All right. Bye. Thanks for visiting. Another Steve Irwin shirt. Oh, here are a couple of books. This Little Pig and the Elf and the Dormouse. Forgot about my coffee. Onward. Here we have a Croft and Barrow purple sweater. A first issue pink cotton cardigan. We're back on women's clothing, it appears. A blouse, a Disney t-shirt. Maybe I can give this to Frugal Daddy for our next trip to Disney World. Lest he be tempted to go purchase a new t-shirt. Christmas present. Blouse. Lands End shorts. Nine and Company. A Nine West store, it says. Black size six. Slacks. A red turtleneck. Oh my. A super groovy denim beaded blouse. I think I need to try this on. Fare thee well, Little Red Riding Hood. At first I thought hideous, and then I thought, oh, super groovy. It's a little loose, but I like it. Tech gear, athletic type top. Blue and white gingham Tommy Hilfiger blouse. A black Eddie Bauer t-shirt. I could possibly use a new black t-shirt. White slacks from Ann Taylor Loft, size two. Two more red turtlenecks. Another very groovy looking top. Oh look, it's a Christmas tree skirt. See? I think you could definitely wear a Christmas tree skirt as a cape. It's like one of those Salvation Army band uniforms. You know when the Salvation Army band plays? Oh yeah, so versatile. These are nice, Nine West. Black slacks, size four. A white turtleneck. A pinky corally blouse. Ann Taylor Loft khaki capris, size two. Ann Taylor Loft petites, zero. Zero petite. White capris, size zero, petite. Nine West, size four, white. I think these are also capris. New York and Company. Stripey blouse, a large pink Talbot's turtleneck sweater. That's what I like to call bubblegum pink. Dockers, size four shorts, a Jones New York sweater, 
Would that I could do horizontal stripes, but I just don't think I can pull them off. Oh, something sparkly. A sequin tank top. Polo. It's a polo shirt. U.S. Polo Association blue shirt. Well, that's it for the thrift store dumpster haul. We've sorted it all and we've got a lot of big piles of donations. I have a few things possibly I might keep, like my groovy blouse and my cape here. Frugal Daddy even got a shirt, so it's a thumbs up kind of day. Thanks for watching, everybody. I look forward to reading all your comments below and keep in touch until we dumpster dive again. Be safe, be frugal, stay out of debt, and stay out of jail.